Welcome to 11th Moon 2. Stick around after the video to see how you can enter into the 11th Moon Holiday Giveaway. Balls! <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going, Creek? Going in here. Is this a thwomp one or is yeah, this? Yeah, thwomp. It's thwomp. Yes. This is this. I think this one's one of the easiest ones to, to get uh, stars from. I always hated that you couldn't make it. Oh, that you can't make the jump. Yeah. I, you say that, but there's some dude. Somewhere. I'm sure there is, but it's not like okay. Yeah. You, you just make it. You know? I like how it tells you how to do the camera. Then. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like oh yeah, remember the cameras. Well, it's it's expecting you to to have beaten just one guy. So. Ooh. That's an instant death. That's not true. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Good. It just sounds so painful. I remember this was like the huge thing, because you can just go by him silently, you know? Because with D-pad you couldn't do this. It was digital, so it was like it was either you were going that direction oh, or you weren't. Really? So with an analog stick. We learned something new today, myself and viewers. <laughs> I knew it. He told us. So, really, I, I didn't know that. So, I mean, it's not like the I mean, first time ever, but... I mean, couldn't you do pre press harder or not on a... No. Really? No. Well, it's no. a digital pad. I guess I guess you're right. You can technically go to this part really quick by, like, doing this, like, doing a long jump right there. Yeah. In that corner you can cut across. Oh, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoa. Destroy him. I always thought this was like the, like the most epic fight ever when I was a kid. It's terrible. Well, I know, but when I was a kid, like like compared to the King Bamam, which I thought was like stupid because I could like I, I couldn't figure it out at first. This one right here, I really felt like I was doing something because it's like like Bamam was tiny compared to this guy, even though it's like clear and apparent and obvious and easy to do. Yeah. Like for whatever reason, I was like. Whoa! You know. Did you go underneath him whenever you do this, or did you try and go around? My very first time? Yeah. Of course you could try to go around him. I went around him. I didn't go underneath him. Yeah, of course not. I mean, yeah. when you, you know, the first time you play it. Of course, you know, then again, some people I'm sure were like, <laughs> please, this is elementary. But it all depends when you played it, yeah. too. I always like that little back of it. Yeah. You can just get in. Yeah, I like that. Can you get the owl now or no? Is the owl not there? Uh, no, you have to do the one that's for the bird cage. Isn't that a? That's a yeah, the really, bird cage. That's, is it? It's a play or something, isn't it? It's like the, isn't it? Oh, oh, yeah. what? When did you get good at this? You must, you must, or you must be using hacks. Whoa! That was a bullet bill coming in hot. Shit. It's one of the stationary ones you can. Oh, still more. One of them you can do something and like hop your way up. Oh. Uh, you don't even have to. Or you could just do that and yeah. be there. And... See, look at this. You're just farming them, dude. Oh yeah. At this point, we're already what? Uh, seventh of the Nine way there? Nine twelfths of the way there. What? You, heard me. you said it was 70. 70 I heard it said twelfth self. So. Well, we're a tenth of the way there. We're like twelfth, fifteen percent. I don't know. Nice. Shooting blue into the wild yews. Into the wild blue yonder. Shit. Ooh, hoo. See, I, I like how you remember all this stuff. Because, I mean, I remember it too, but, but, but like. It's completely different, because me controlling this usually probably would go. See what I mean? Like, we're all sitting there, like, punching them, but it's like, well, you weren't perfect. <laughs> it's like, I'm Mario. But no, um, I'd like to draw some comparisons between this and uh, the first time you played Ocarina of Time, though. Okay. So this is the first Ocarina of Time, did you feel like you went your own path without them telling you? Yes. I did, too. I was like... Oh, yeah. Like, you weren't meant to. Wait, wait, are you supposed to, I thought you were supposed to shoot. There, no, this one's called chip off the block or something like that. Oh, but you can still do it, whatever. Are you supposed to hit that? I thought no. you were supposed to go, like, aim for the, the, the post in the middle there. Those, yeah, like that one there. Right? I don't remember. Let's do this try one. that. No, no, try, try, try no, the one no, I'm talking no. about. Oh, you missed. 
pretty goddamn close. That was fucking really close. Can I get back? Yeah. Can you get back? No, but the first time I played Ocarina of Time, uh, versus the first time I played Mario, first time I played Mario, I was like, whoa! You know, just really impressed or whatever. Mm -hmm. The first time I played, uh, <laughs> you, do, you, you do know that if you just aim for the middle thing, you can actually... Can you drop down? Yeah. I didn't know you could ever drop down. Yeah, that, that... I When it said shoot into the wild blue, I literally did this every time and I made it. Yeah, no, no, aim for the middle block. No, that's that's so... That's all elementary. So shallow and pedantic. Yeah. Um, but no, uh, the first time I played that, like... Because I never played... Oh, I usually hit it. Whatever, I, I'll, I, I'll just do the normal. I had never played a game so dark or whatever mm -hmm. right at the beginning. It's like with the, with the dream sequence and all that stuff. I was like sitting there just watching it going, oh my god. Ah. Like I, I freaked out. Like this game blew my mind as a kid. Like I couldn't believe Mario 3D and all that yeah. stuff. But that was where it just, I went off. That's why I've always been hesitant about doing that on the show. Because, you know, I'm like, I don't know if I, if I can handle it. Handle what? <laughs> Playing uh, Ocarina of Time on the mm. show because I mean we we've streamed you know that kind of stuff oh, before <laughs> but we but on on this it's like I might just sit there just the whole thing like whoa yeah yeah oh, oh I yeah. think it'd be I think it might be kind of fun to do it the mm. red coins on the floating I right, leave that in the comments if you guys want us to play Ocarina of Time sometime let us know because I mean that can really bring back a ton of conversations like dude what did you feel during this like during this when this first happened how fucking epic was this like where were you freaking out. I was freaking out. Nah, 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 nah. You know, well, I, I can tell you I'm, I, how I felt when I first played this. Like, you know, the uh, that, that that feeling of just like shock and awe that a game could possibly look like this. Yeah. Like that was just too unbelievable to me. I'm like, dude, I remember. Me. You, know, you want to know how I felt? What's that? Sick. I had 102 fever when we went out and picked this up. So it wasn't like sick, bruh. It was like sick. But I was like, literally it was, sick. That was a good shot. I was literally sick. I'll give you that. That was a good shot. We went out and we did the Black Friday thing. It was the only Black Friday we've ever done. And I begged my parents to do it. And then like when we got there, my dad had to go in and get the game and stuff. And he was supposed to get, uh, like I told him to get Wave Racer and this. Okay. And he only got one of them. He's like, he only need one. Which at the end, end of the day, yeah, it was fine. Uh, Wave Racer. What's the other one? That's the owl one. Oh. Okay. I don't know if I can do it. Where are the red coin ones? Red, it says red coins in the, in the floating, floating aisle. aisle. Oh, I remember this. I don't remember. I never. I seriously. Use the, I never use the cannon to. Sh right, right there, there. You see the one coin right there. Oh, okay. But what, oh, floating aisle is just like this fucking level. Well, no, no. The float. There's like actual floating islands. Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> first death, huh? Yeah, first, first, death. first real death. That's okay. Nothing wrong with a little death. No, nothing wrong with death. Well, in a Mario game, don't don't kill <laughs> don't kill people, kids. You know, I always think of this song. Uh, if somebody says Mario sixty four, the first like like the the first level in Mario sixty four. What's the song you think of? I I go to this over that over the uh, 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 the actual one. What's the name of the other one? I don't know. Oh, bob -omb Place? Yeah, but what is it called? Dick Face? Like, yeah, you do that, but you can easily just... Scooch, 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 scooch. <laughs> I wonder if that hurts. And the 11th Moon Holiday giveaway question today is, if Yoshi and Kirby got into an eating contest, who would win? I'm being safe and just can going you, across. When you get to the middle, after you get that one, can you go into his head? Because I want to say that the, the coins were this way. As well. You chased it? Really? <laughs> yeah, there we go. And you look up. Right. No, not, they're not up there. Up where? Like, str like basically straight up. That's just that one that's in the. But there's like floating islands. Basket. No, no, no there's like floating islands. Sure. There, up there. Like there, like, like not just that one. There's other ones. And you see that the coin floating there midair. It looks like. Yeah. That's where the islands are. 
I don't remember this. I oh, never you can hop on the, the yeah, swamp. Yeah. I never did red coins. I was like, I'm not fucking. Cool. I I hated collecting as a child. See, look, there's the islands. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm right. I'm not crazy. I wonder if I take that arrow shaped. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Really? Oh, really? Damn it! Fucking ass! Ah, oh, god! Fucking ass! Oh, fucking bunch asses. of ass! Yeah, Nintendo. Hey everyone, this is Craig here with 11th Moon, and I'm here to give you some exciting news. 11th Moon wants to give away free stuff to our fans, so this holiday season will be the first 11th Moon holiday giveaway. What does that mean for you? That means you get the chance to win some free stuff for just being a fan of 11th Moon, and your loyalty is going to decide what you get. How this is going to work is you're going to watch 11th Moon 2 videos that start with me telling you to stick around to the end of the video. Somewhere in the middle of that video, we're going to have a question. You're going to comment on the video with an answer to that question, and if we deem it appropriate, you're going to be entered into the drawing. Every time you answer a question on a new video, you're going to be entered again into the drawing. But note, there's only one entry per person per video. At the end of the promotion, we're going to draw a name out of a hat, and that person's going to be the winner of the prize. Now, what's that prize going to be? We don't even know yet, because that's going to be up to you. The ante is going to up what the prize is based on your loyalty. On the specially marked videos of 11th Moon 2, every minute watched is going to add to that pot. Every new follower on Facebook is going to add to that pot. Every new like on the video itself will add to the pot. Every new follower on Twitter will add to the pot. Every retweet of an 11th Moon tweet will add to the pot. The size of this prize is going to be up to you. So go ahead, find all the videos that have me telling you to stick around to the end, watch the whole thing to add to that minute total, respond in the comments with your answers to the question, and win some free stuff. But hurry up, the holiday season's coming up quick on us, and we want you to win a big prize.